Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw the oldest labyrinth that exists in the world. Labyrinths are even older than mazes. Mazes have dead ends and force you to make decisions. A labyrinth is a single pathway that winds its way to a center. And the oldest labyrinth is the Seven Circuit Classical Labyrinth, which may be four to 6,000 years old. It's still found on the coasts of Sweden, made with stones on the ground. And the way that the labyrinth is named is not only by its design, but also by the number of circuits, which is if you walk or trace this labyrinth and arrive at the center, then counting the number of paths that surround you, there are seven paths surrounding this center, so it is a seven circuit classical labyrinth. And actually it's a right-handed classical labyrinth because when you walk into the labyrinth, your first turn is to the right. So this is the oldest form, and even though the origins of labyrinths are unknown, what's interesting is that by learning the seed pattern, you can create the labyrinth very simply and teach other people how to do it as well. So to begin, you need to draw a plus sign, and you need to do it kind of in the bottom one-third of your paper because you need a little more room above the plus sign than below it. So a giant plus sign, not too close to the edges either, and then inside those corners you want to add L shapes. So again, kind of equidistant so that you're dividing this space into two, actually into four, so that if you had points on the ends of all of these lines, it would be a perfect square equally divided into quarters. So this is the seed pattern for the Seven Circuit Classical Labyrinth. And as long as you can remember how to draw this seed, then you can recreate this labyrinth either by drawing it or tracing your foot in the sand or even with rocks and things on the ground. So now we're going to grow the seed. We're going to create the seven circuit labyrinth by beginning here in the center of the plus sign and going to the left, we're going to connect it to the next line. So we're just going to go up and over and connect it to the next line. But um now we want to create our first circuit, right? We've created our center where we'll stand in the middle. Then you want to come back over to this L and you want to take this L and bring it up and over and connect it to the dot. I'm just reinforcing it there. You don't have to go back again. But basically you want to keep continuing around the labyrinth. So now we're at this dot. We're going to go up and over and we're going to come down around and you actually have to bring it back into the design and you're always trying to maintain the same distance of path width to keep your labyrinth kind of regular so now we're going to actually come over here to the other side of the L and we're going to pull it out go up and over and around and back again to the plus sign so now we have one, two, three circuits. We've got four more to go. We're going to come out here to the edge of the plus sign, go up, over, and around down here to the bottom corner. Now it's kind of like drawing a rainbow. You always want to start on the same edge and keep going up and over and around and back down again and this time we're going to connect to the dot. So I've got two more to go. We're going to come back again, keep going around and around. So this time I'm going to take the dot. Next time I'm going to take this L, but this time I'm going to take the dot and go out, up, around, over, and back again to connect and this time you have to bring it up into the pattern again and then lastly down around up 
over one last time all the way and bring it and then connect it to the bottom of the plus sign. And that is the seven circuit classical labyrinth. Again, it's with a right handed turn. And what's interesting, you know, if you wanted to create this uh, on the ground, then you were painting it or something, you have to realize that there are seven circuits. So if this is one foot across here, one foot, then going here, would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight feet, and then again, seven more paths over here, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this would actually be 15 feet wide, or maybe 30 feet wide if these were two foot paths. So thanks for joining me, and uh, good luck in drawing and building your own labyrinths.